let's kind of go big picture in the American League East. Some teams have improved themselves. They've added players in the division, but are we in agreement that the Yankees bringing Rizzo back, Judge back, and Rodon, they're probably a cut above? Oh, I don't think there's any doubt right now what the Yankees have done this offseason. They've made themselves better. I think they're the best team in the American League East. And I look at the Boston Red Sox, and I, I really can't figure out what they're doing up there. It doesn't seem like they're ready to spend money. Uh, Bogarts leaves. You still have Devers there. What are they going to do with his situation and trying to lock him up long term? And I will say there's two, two parts of any negotiation. Does Devers want to be there long term with what he's seeing with how the front is, is working lately. Uh, there's a lot of questions up in Boston, Jack. In the holiday spirit, I think of the phrase the island of misfit toys, and that's what I would apply to the Red Sox right now. You had to figure out a way to try and at least contend to keep Bogerts there because that would probably help you keep Devers there. And we've talked about this on our show. I think 11 and 280 was a high number for Bogerts to go to San Diego, but the Red Sox were at 160. And if you read some of the reporting that has come out recently, including an article on ESPN.com, when they signed Story for 6 and 140, if they had come at Bogert's with a similar number, he said that he might have considered signing at that point. So they've got a lot to figure out. Sure, they've added Kenley Jansen, they've added Turner, they've added Yoshida, but again, that's why I kind of called it uh, some pieces that I'm not sure exactly how all of them fit. All right, meantime, the Baltimore Orioles were a great story last season. They made a lot of strides. A lot of their young players came up, had an impact, and we thought this offseason, maybe you add a few veterans, you hit the free agent market. Are we surprised or not surprised that they've basically been inactive? Yeah, I don't know if I'm like 100% surprised. Obviously, they created a lot of excitement with how they played last year. But I think if you're realistically looking at it, how many pieces are they away? Can they develop through the farm system? And they maybe next year, they make the big splashes in the free agent market. I'm sure their fan base was wanting them and craving for them to do something big. But you got to trust the process, I guess. You hear that all the time, Jack. They added Kyle Gibson. They added Adam Frazier. And neither of those is a marquee move. I'm actually looking at the fact that they elevated themselves to 83 wins last season. Are they even thinking that that was a little bit above what they expected to do? And to John's point, that one big acquisition isn't going to get them to the point where they were. Because if you believe you're truly an 83-win team and you go out and sign a Carlos Rodon, well, maybe you're getting yourself to the high 80s. And if you get to the high 80s, you can be a wild card team.